we are going to show you how we did a complete back, uh, backyard makeover within $2,000. This is how our backyard looked. Basically, we could not use any of the big space available to us. This is how our porch inside of our house looked before the makeover. After going through a few options, we decided to install pavers in the main area and then added more areas to the project as time permitted. We started digging to remove the weed, topsoil, and get about 4-6 to six inches below the surface. This was the difficult part and we spent a good amount of time on it. We worked mainly in the evenings and weekends due to school and office schedules. It took us a couple of weeks to dig it out completely. This has been our first project of this size and YouTube has been a great source to learn. We hope this video will inspire someone out there who wants to redo their backyard but are nervous to start like we were at the beginning. Here, my little brother is helping to remove the old sprinklers that we had. This is the last portion of digging, and since I wanted to do it, my dad left it for me. And we are done. Here comes our eight tons of quarter minus crushed granite. This will be the base for our pavers. Now it's time for us to play on the small hill. We have to take this big pile of rock and start filling it in our area. We level it as we dump it. This is the last of our rock. The area is leveled, sprayed with water, and compacted. This goes on and on. We compacted it several times. We probably went over it about 20 times at least. We just bought the compactor instead of renting one. got the job of spraying water. Here come our papers and sand. It was fun watching them unload it. We tried to set it as close to our backyard gate as possible since we were going to carry everything in a wheelbarrow.
We are laying our first pavers now. It takes a bit of time in the beginning to figure out how to mix the three different sizes of pavers. But once you get a hang of it, it becomes much easier. We are using plastic paver edging and it is anchored with nylon spikes. Screening was one of the most painful tasks in the project. You basically lay down two PVC pipes and then pour sand all over it. Then you remove the excess sand with the plank or two by four. Then you remove the pipes, fill in the gaps with sand, and you've got yourself a nice sand base ready for laying pavers. One Sunday morning, there was a forecast for rain. Rain is not good in the middle of such a project. Luckily, it was only a very light, light shower and not a downpour. We also had made this homemade tool for screening that made it much easier. The showers actually gave a nice break from the heat. The little one has already started using the paved area. Only the last few papers are remaining now. Finally done laying all the papers here. Now we pour sand all over the papers and brush it in the gaps. Then we compact the papers so that the sand settles in and the papers are firmly sitting on the base. We go over the entire area twice, adding more sand and then compacting. This is a very important step, and if it's skipped, the papers may become uneven over time. Remember how the side area of a house was messy? We started working on that area now. We already put the pavers there, as you can see, and we used the leftover pavers, then we salvaged these red pavers that were already there. While we were at it, we also decided to install string lights. Here's how the lights look. This is how our main area now looks. We created a nice border of rubber mulch to create a bit of contrast. This is how our porch inside of our house looks now. We have a few different sitting areas now with the place to cook on the fire. We also laid the excess gravel that we had in our front yard to finish it. We also added LED rope lights on the side. 
Now for some before and after pictures. Not bad for a bunch of amateurs, right? The whole project was done within $2,000 and more than 1,000 square feet. The quote from the professional was in the neighborhood of $15,000. It was a lot of hard work, but it was worth it. It kept us busy during quarantine. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer. Please subscribe to our channel as we will share such exciting videos here regularly.